All right, guys, now we're going to be looking at some side control escapes. So we're going to be looking at the gator roll escape, and then we're going to be looking at the, the pummel escapes off of that gator roll. So the first thing, the gator roll in concept is just kind of rolling and hitting this double leg before he closes his distance. Okay, so I have a guard, kind of. So this is, this is our guard position for the gator roll. So maybe he hit a leg drag. Maybe he did a, a, a bullfighter pass and let go pretty early. But anyway, he's in this position, he's looking to close that distance. I'm going to hip out, and the belly out here. I'm going to reach across that leg and drive through. I might be guillotined. If he grabs the guillotine, we just looked at that last block, how to finish that. So one more time, we're going to get a roll escape. So I have a terrible guard. He pushes the guard out of the way, hip out, and then the belly out here, and then drive out. All right, now, I'm going to get the, pen, uh, the pummel escapes. And so this is a little different. The gator roll, I'm early. And the pummel, I'm late, okay? So this pummel escape works if his arms are both over here, like Superman, or controlling my head and my body here, okay? So if I need to get my left arm wrapped around his back here, so it's like I could wave to somebody on the ceiling. I'm going to open this elbow here, and I'm going to roll toward my partner. I'm pushing my right hand down as I do this motion, and then I'm going to turn my hips. It's a bunch at once, but you guys will do it well. So I'm going to push here, and I'm going to hook his hip, and I'm pressing my belly to his leg. I'm going to switch my feet just like that headlock escape, I'm holding my knees, get up, and then take the back. One more time. Professor might be too low too, so if he grabs really low or swoops my head, it doesn't matter, it doesn't change anything. If he's low, I have to bump. And it's just like a little ratchet motion. I'm gonna bump, take that space. Go ahead, go low and heavy. Bump, bump, I'll get here. Now, it's time to make it over. Now I'm out on the back. Right guys, so now we're going to be looking at the push triangle and this is one of the easiest ways to set the triangle and it doesn't look like it should work, but it works pretty well. So we're going to look at closed guard. If he's got a gi on, which most of the time in Jiu Jitsu they do, I'm going to control the back of the lapel right here. No gi. I'm going to hook here, right on the back of his neck. So I make like a little meat hook out of my hand. Either way it works fine. Now, I want him on the end of my arm. If I'm pulling him down, there's nowhere to push his arm. So you guys see that? So I can't move this arm out of the way. But here, I can push the arm here. As I push, my leg is going to come out. So I'm going to push, my leg comes out, and then I'm going to shoot my hips up. It's going to go here. I have this diamond position. I'm going to move his arm across. I'm going to crunch him in, hook the head, hook the shin, Put the hip change the angle, close the triangle, and then finish. One more time. Let's look at this leg here. So I'm holding the back of the head, I'm holding the wrist here. A lot of times people will start to reach that elbow back and try to push down on your own leg here and try to open up your guard this way. This is an easy, they're doing it for me. So say he pushes here, boom, easy, he did it for me. Hook the head, hook the shin, change the angle, close that triangle. And finish. That setup, guys. Even if you have to say it in your head while you're doing the test, that's fine. I just want it in your head. That's all I care about. Guys. All right, guys. We're going to be looking at maintaining the mount and then attacking the American and armbar. So this is real simple. So he's going to be giving me some options. The guy doesn't know any jujitsu, and I give him the wet blanket position. He's going to push up. I want you guys to swing through. If they're a strong guy and I can swing through like this, I'm not going to move his arms. I want to make his arms wobble. So I'm going to throw one arm through, then the other here and get my chest low. Okay? The next thing we're going to look at, if he knows jujitsu, he's going to try to do the shark fighter snake bite. So he starts to control my arm, I'm going to flip, pull that arm back, flip. Pull that arm back. Do it a few times. Now, we looked at the knee to elbow, so he's going to try to bring that elbow down to the floor. I can grab the sleeve or scoop under the tricep here. I'm going to put my hand right by his ear, and then I'm going to lift with my whole body and slide that knee up. He's going to try to get that other knee in there. Post, scoop, lift, climb. Last but not least, 
He doesn't want to be here. Who knows? Maybe I'm, it's like a great scene action video where I'm slapping him in the face and he doesn't want to get slapped anymore. So he's going to belly out. I want to let him. My hands go to the floor and let him go. As he starts to get up, hooks in and then seat belt. All right. Now he's going to go back to the bottom. We're going to look at some finishes. Do this one just a little bit. All right, guys. So we looked at that Americana. The two on one, drive my whole body, elbow down, set up that Americana. Okay, now we're gonna look at setting up the Americana to the arm walk. So set up two skills. So I'm gonna drive, boom, start to set up that Americana, and he reaches to save it. Here, I can't finish that Americana, I'm gonna, but I'm gonna take my right knee, slide it to his head, and then I'm gonna fold my left leg here. I want my heel and my knee kind of squeezing toward each other, just like I was setting up an arm bar from the guard. Now this is an important detail. I'm gonna press my hips forward here, to push that arm as far into my, um, into my hips as possible. Swing the leg over the head, sit, plant those knees, and slowly finish. All right, guys. That's our maintain now and attack. All right, guys. It is balloon sweep time, and this is probably the most like fun technique in jujitsu that you're gonna do. That I'm gonna do. It's still my favorite. Um, we're going to look at that standing position here. All right, so I get his leg forward here. Maybe I'm trying to do a sickle sweep, and he's grabbing the lapel here. So I grab his lapel, and then I stick my other foot in his hip here, okay? I want two, I want a few points here. My foot, my, both my feet need to be in the hips. I need something to control his posture and something to control that sleeve, okay? The lift doesn't happen for me just pulling and kicking. If I do that, I'm fighting myself. I can do this all day, he's not gonna move anywhere, he might get a sore back, but I'm definitely not gonna get the lift. Okay, so what I need to do, guys, is I'm gonna lift my hips up, and then I'm gonna drop and pull his head over mine. So we're looking right at each other. Boom, and then I lift. I get this nice, easy float here. Okay, so my right hand is holding him up, my left hand stays right on that sleeve. I'm going to bend my legs and set his head next to my head. Put the back to the mount position. All right, that's it. I want you guys to be able to float your partner, and all you really need to do after that is set him down and back up. It's awesome. Like I said, it gets, it's super fun, and then also we'll be able to add that arm bar to it.